Oh no, this is not good. Hello, I'm Lego Bro, and this series is about checking out some of the Minecraft community's custom maps. Today, we're going to be looking at Dual TNT by Chainsaw Ninja. As always, the link is down in the description. Chainsaw Ninja describes Dual TNT as a more complex TNT spleef game. It contains multiple unique characters with high skill ceilings and a variety of moves. As always, we start by looking at the builds of this map. I thought that the lobby was very nice looking, especially since it had so many secrets. The individual playing maps were not quite as good as the lobby, but definitely serve their purpose. So to review, there was a great lobby, and the maps were pretty good. Score, 8 out of 10. Dual TNT is a fairly old map, so comparing it to the maps made around the same time it was released, it was pretty unique. I would go as far to say it inspired many copycat games. However, you can still see where it gets its inspiration from, and how it sets itself as different from other games or maps. I also like how the classes were quite unique. So to review, it stands out as unique, and also the characters or classes were pretty unique. Score, 8 out of 10. Looking at how fun the map was, we liked Dual TNT because it was skill based, but just chaotic enough to give newer players a chance. I'm a sucker for class based games, and Dual TNT is no exception. The classes all had similar items, but also were diverse enough to add a challenge to learning each one. I did find, however, the PvE game mode needed a little work because I was very quickly overwhelmed. So to review, there's a good balance between skill and chaos. The character diversity was nice, but the PvE I wasn't too big of a fan of. Score, 8 out of 10. Now moving on to functions. As said before, Dual TNT is not a new map. However, it seemed to be relatively lightweight and efficient. We didn't have any issues with server lag, and I can only assume you have converted to functions over time. Again, looking back at the classes, a handful of the classes use similar mechanics, but others, namely Gardener or Overlord, had quite unique main weapons. On top of that, things in the lobby felt solid and worked well. To review, the map was efficient, the newer classes were nice, the lobby was solid. Score, 9 out of 10. Finally, now looking at stability. For an explosive game, Dual TNT didn't seem to have too many issues. One bug I found was right when the game ended, I launched a bomb and the bomb was thrown in the lobby, causing explosive damage in the lobby. At least we thought it was pretty funny. So to review, it was mostly stable, with exception to the explosive lobby. Score, 8 out of 10. That brings us to an overall score of 8.2 out of 10. I've always liked Dual TNT, and you can see why it has been around for so long. Great work, Chainsaw Ninja. Are you a map maker and want to submit your map? Fill out the Google form in the description, and I may review it. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.